Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to convert a JSON string into Java object using Jackson library. So in one of the previous videos, we have already seen how to convert Java object into JSON string using Jackson library. You will get the link for that video in the description. So now in this video, we are going to do the reverse of that. That means converting JSON string into Java object using Jackson library. So let's see how to do that. So let's go to the Eclipse and in pom.xml you need to add Jackson dependency that is Jackson data bind. So we are going to use this library to convert JSON string into Java object. Now let's see the JSON that we want to convert to Java object. So this is the JSON that we want to convert. So there are three attributes basically the key a value pairs, employee ID name and company name. So in our class we have these three fields employee id name and company name so we want to convert this json string into the object of employee class so we have three fields employee id name and company name so here we have constructor using these three fields and also we have default constructor so you need to make sure that you have no arcs constructor in the class in which you want to convert so it might be possible that you have some other constructor with the fields of the class like this. So you need to explicitly have this no arcs constructor in the class. Otherwise you will face an error while using the Jackson library. If you don't have any constructor like this, then you don't need to explicitly give this no arcs constructor. Because we know that in Java by default we have no arcs constructor. But if you have any other constructor with the fields, then explicitly you need to have no arcs constructor in the class to which you want to convert. So here we have no arcs constructor and if you look at the JSON then see the name, the company name, these two keys in the JSON are matching with these two fields. So we are good here. But if you closely look, this is employee ID field and here we have key as employee underscore ID. So these two will automatically get mapped using the Jackson library. But here the, this key and this field are not matching. So for that Jackson library provides at JSON property annotation. And here we can give employee underscore ID. So this is the key that we have in JSON. So now we are good to go. So here is our main class and let's get this JSON string so we will put inside one string variable like this. Now Jackson library provides one class that is object mapper. So let's create the object of object mapper. Now using this object of object mapper, we will convert the JSON string into Java object. So for that it has method as read value. So the first thing is our JSON string. And then the class to which we want to convert. So in our case it's employee.class. So let's surround it with try catch. And here we will get it in the object of employee class. Now Let's say one simple sysout, say id equal to employee dot get employee id and name equal to employee dot get name. So here we are printing the employee ID and name. So let's run the application. See, we got ID one and name is John. So this we will get from the JSON, the ID employee underscore ID one and name equal to John. So this is how you can convert your JSON string into Java object using Jackson library. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends and do comment on the video. So that's all for now. 
we'll see you in the another video till then happy learning and happy coding